Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. It is Wednesday, which means it is Arms Day, my favorite day of, of the week in the tower. We're going to talk to Banshee about about some weapons, about some guns. He's he's got some stuff, and we're going to talk to him about it and talk about uh, what I like and what I don't like. So, what I usually do in my Arms Day videos is we will look at all of the Foundry orders from this week. We'll make decisions, talk about which ones I like. Then we'll look at next week's Foundry orders, talk about which ones you need to pick up. So. If you want to see any of these guns in detail, I do an Arms Day preview video. It's linked in the description. You can check that out from the uh, the YouTube channel. But let's get right into it and see what Banshee's got for us. So, first gun of the day, we have the Haka Gaharis D or the Haka Gaharis D. So we got this hand cannon. It's a it's a forgettable hand cannon. It's not the highest impact. It's not the uh, best rate of fire, and it cannot come with a rifled barrel. Does it have reinforced? It does not. So. Probably gonna pass on this one. It's got danger close, final round, speed reload, armor piercing, and oiled frame. Steady hand and true sight. True sight, you know, that's a little decent. But uh, all in all, that gun's pretty, pretty garbage. This gun can have some interesting rolls because it kind of goes with, it comes with some different things since it is a Haka hand cannon. But uh, there's a reinforced barrel, so that one will have the range you need. Explosive rounds, hand loaded, spray and play, relentless tracker though is not something I really like. It does have the sure shot though. So that's nice. And then the uh, the third option, what you got for us, Banshee? We got the mm, quick draw, sure shot again, danger close. Who's next? Who's next? Snapshot, explosive rounds, and small war. So Garris D is a pass. The second option does have that range, the reinforced barrel, but it's got relentless tracker. Uh, spray and play is nice. So uh, that's the pick of the week for the, uh, the Garris D. Although, if you picked up the Garris D, you probably want to hold on to it for an interesting roll. Something crazy. So, none of these are too crazy. This one does have the range, but uh, that's about it. So, let's move on to the next gun. We have the Amalan Kuma k HC4 Mid-Impact mid, mid Fire Hand Cannon. Not the highest of impact, but you can get some cool rolls on this gun, and it's so smooth. Oh, speaking of cool rolls, let's talk about this one right here. Do we have, we have Injection Mold, though. Injection Mold Lightweight. Outlaw, Eye of the Storm, Luck in the Chamber, Fast Draw, Quick Draw, True Sight. So Luck in the Chamber is cool, Outlaw is cool, Lightweight's interesting. I would like to have seen Rifle Barrel here because this one can roll with Rifle Barrel. So Rifle Barrel would have made this one pretty awesome. <clears throat> Hopefully the next the next one will be uh, more decent than that one. Hey, Luck in the Chamber, Firefly with Brace Frame. Brace Frame and Luck in the Chamber, not too bad if you're going into PvE with this hand cannon. I know, I know. Just bear with me. Uh, Firefly, Luck in the Chamber, and Brace Frame will actually be really cool together. It does have the True Sight. So there you go. But Luck in the Chamber with the Brace Frame will proc more often. I'm not sure what Brace Frame takes the mag size down to. Six, seven, something like that. So Luck in the Chamber has the option to hit more often. Firefly will be really cool for taking out PvE enemies. And it's a very stable gun, so that's not bad. It's not the best. But it'll, uh, it'll have some fun for you. Then we have, uh, there's a rifled barrel, Army of One, Outlaw, Eye of the Storm, and Extended Mag with the Fast Draw, the Steady Hand, and the Sure Shot. So, this is probably the one you want to get. It's the best all-around version. There's the Outlaw for the Super Fast Reload. Army of One giving you the unassisted kill, reducing your grenade and melee cooldown. And then the range from Rifled Barrel with a Sure Shot. So, that's the Kuma Katok of the week. If you want to hold out for some uh, luck in the chamber action i've got a luck in the chamber life support rifle barrel kuma katak that's really really cool uh it's it's a fun gun it's very stable very smooth and i, I like running and gunning with it so uh that's the one for this week but i don't know let me know if you pick this up and what you think about it because that's not bad that's not a bad gun i really kind of uh think that's pretty decent so third gun of the morning we got the haka herji d now, the Herja D is a mid-impact, mid-rate of fire pulse rifle. I, I like the hollow, and I like the thermal. So there, there's the thermal. doesn't have the hollow. It has the iron scopes. Which the irons are not too bad. But the problem with this gun is it has some uh, kick pattern up into the left. You really need some stability to control that. So hand laid stock is going to be what you're looking for. Hand laid stock or counterbalance will get you. Uh, counterbalance head seeker would be a really cool combination on this gun. So we've got hand laid stock, feeding frenzy, danger, close, high caliber rounds, hand loaded. That's not a bad combination of perks. Uh, I've seen better. I've got better. Ooh, hello. I don't like Zen Moment with the Headseeker, though. And Injection Mold. You're going to lose range, which I don't really like. 
single point sling, speed reload, injection mold, zen moment, head seeker. So my thought on this is maybe the first shot bounces you a little bit and then the rest of the shots keep you on target. So if you start with that first shot to the body and then zen moment will keep the rest of them on the head, maybe. I don't know if that's how it's really going to go. So causing damage with this weapon increases its stability. It does, it does turn it more stable. If I was going to run this, I would probably run single point sling. That way you don't lose the range from injection mold. But like I said, I don't really think that's when it's that good. I don't know. That's interesting. We're going to look back at it. What does it have? The iron and the thermal again. So those are not too bad. I want it to be better than it is. Then we have range founder, crowd control. Now it's got a 36 round mag with oiled frame, speed reload, and snapshot. The uh, stability is going to be so bad on that. The thermal and the post. So uh, the second one would probably be my choice, but it's an interesting role. Let me know if you pick that up and use it and what you think about it. Because uh, I've got one with uh, hand laid stock, head seeker, and I think counterbalance. I don't remember what exactly it has on it, but it's a cool roll. And it's uh, very, very stable. So let me let me know if you pick the second one up for the Herja D. And, uh, it looks it looks interesting. So my Warlock has one of the bonus packages for the week, or one of the guns that I've been holding on to for a while. It is the Haka Arminius D Auto Rifle, high rate of fire, low impact auto rifle. And it's funny, I was playing some Iron Banner last night and getting killed by the Doctrine of Passing. Surprising because I haven't been killed by that in a while. But the Arminius D is kind of the same archetype, high rate of fire low impact and let's see if we can get a cool roll on it so you really need a lot of stability on this gun I like the same sights the hollow and the thermal for this one this one has neither uh, army of one glass half full high caliber round speed reload and small bore small bore is interesting but you're gonna want some different perks up here if you're gonna run small bore because it doesn't give you enough stability it gives you an interesting gun if you have focus fire but uh, that one's kind of a pass hopefully the other two are a little bit better than that one next up we have range finder danger close with the post and the range scope, we have small bore again, fitted stock, single point sling. Not crazy about that one. There's a couple options I'm looking for on the Army DSD. I'm looking for counterbalance, brace frame, or uh, what was it? Hand laid stock and focus fire and something like feeding frenzy, maybe? I don't know. Uh, what do we have here? Crowd control, glass half full, and brace frame. So that's good right there. That's a pretty good one. Brace frame is going to reduce your mag size though, which will help with glass half full, but hurt you with crowd control. But it's got a big enough mag where you might, you might get some use out of crowd control. It does have the iron and the watchdog scope. Mm, those are not my favorite scopes for this gun. I really like the uh, the hollow or the thermal, like on the uh, <clears throat> the pulse rifle we looked at. So. Uh, this one right here is the best of the week, but I'd probably hold on this one for another week. Get that uh, counterbalance brace frame, or get the focus fire crowd control rifle barrel, focus fire small bore, something interesting on this one. This gun with focus fire is a lot of fun. I really think it's the most interesting gun in Destiny with focus fire. So uh, that's what I think about that one, and uh, we got a few more guns, so let's go look. All right, we got three more guns. We have the Haka Ludmilla D Pulse Rifle, the Suros Air I-45 Auto Rifle, and the Suros PDX-45 bonus package that we're going to take a look at and talk about. But before we do that, I want to remind you guys that I stream on Twitch every morning. I've been streaming on YouTube a lot. I'm going to start streaming on Twitch in the morning. So if you're watching this video, my Twitch link is in the description. I'm probably live right now. You can probably click somewhere on the video and check out that Twitch channel. But uh, Banshee... Let's talk about some guns, man. So, uh, let's look at the next week's Foundry orders before we check these out. Mm, PDX, that one looks interesting. So next week we have the Suros ARI 45 again. We're going to take a look at that in just a minute. High impact, low rate of fire, auto rifle. Amalan Kosidis SR4, high impact, slow rate of fire, scout rifle, a la the, uh, oh, is it the Chaos Dogma? type arch archetype and then we have the Haka Jingakogo D shotgun mid impact mid rear fire shotgun 3 in the mag it's not very good uh, Amalan Uzum RR4 sniper rifle that's confused because it's almost a scout rifle it's such low impact and then the Amalan Irene RR4 with a high impact so if I was going to pick up one I'd definitely pick up the Kosatis or the ARI 45 depending on what you like scout rifles or auto rifles those are two very good guns then go with the, uh, the Irene because it's a strong high impact sniper that I've found a lot of uses for. You can get a triple tap casket mag version of that with like seven or eight rounds that you can chew through if you do it right. So, uh, and then the Azum and the Jingu Kogo D are just if you're feeling cheeky because they're kind of silly. They're not very effective at anything, but you can get some cool rolls on them. So I have fun with those sometimes. So those are next week's Foundry Orders and what I think about it, but let's finish her off 
look at a couple more guns and uh, get to it. So first up we have the Suros Air I-45, already seeing a cool one. I like focus fire on this gun because it's already high impact. I might have to get this and just compare it to the Genesis chain. It's got rifled barrel, speed reload, hammer forged, and feather mag with the 28, the 12, and the 37. I like the 28 scope. 12 is still good too. I don't like the 37. Uh, it just doesn't quite do it for me, but I like the 28. I'd probably leave it on the 28. Go with ooh, feather mag or hammer forged. Feather mag is going to be interesting because it'll give you quick reload, and focus fire is going to slow that rate of fire down. So losing a little bit of mag is not going to be that big a deal, and rifle barrel is going to push that range out or speed reload if you want to reload super fast, like super fast reloads. So that's a really cool roll right there already first on the uh, AR-45. Next up, we have an unflinching with single point sling, rifle barrel, casket mag, and fitted side. Casket mag is going to reduce your stability. Rifled barrel increases the ranges. This gun has good stability because it is a Suros weapon. It's got the 12, the 26, and the 57. I like the 57. It's a good gun, or it's a good sight. Uh, the Suros weapons have good stability <clears throat> already, uh, but I don't know if reducing it that much is going to be a good idea. But Casket Mag is going to give you more mag, which I like on this auto rifle because 25 is not quite big enough. It's still good. Uh, and then the third option with glass half full, hand laid stock, snapshot, perfect balance, oiled frame, 26, 12, and 57. So this one's going to give you max stability. It's going to go max stability if you run perfect balance, hand laid stock, glass half full, but you're going to have no range. Well, actually, you'll have decent range, uh, not, not awful range. So maybe snapshot instead of hand laid stock to go with perfect balance and glass half full, but. I could see the perfect balance, hand laid stock, glass out full range on this one being super awesome. So let me know which one of these ARI-45s you pick up. I'm leaning towards the focus fire, but this one's good. And uh, I think the middle one's not so much. So maybe the first one, maybe the third one. Let me know which one you grab. Next we have the Suros, not the Suros, the Hakka. A little bit of D. All these pronunciations that I struggle with every week, but we're going we're gonna to get through it. We got the thermal and the hollow, the scopes that I like. Army of One Zen Moment and Oiled Frame Speed Reload Single Point Sling. That's not very good. Zen Moment and Army of One are decent, but this gun has such bad stability. I need more than Zen Moment to get under, get under, get it under control. It's got the scopes I like, the scopes that you want, but uh, not the talents over here that you need. So I don't know. It looks good, but it's not the best that I've seen. Next up, we have a counterbalance glass half full is that ooh, oil frame speed reload snapshot counterbalance is gonna be good on this gun uh, iron and watchdog though not the scopes that I like irons good uh, watchdogs okay uh, glass half full is gonna work nicely on this gun but it's got a big mag and to get to that last little bit that gives you the bonus damage it's gonna take you a while so it's probably gonna be a useless spark on this gun if you're PvP and if you're PvE in maybe uh, but I wouldn't recommend it so speed reload Oil frame snapshot. It's got one of the perks that I want. That's that's about it. And then uh, finally, the third option, danger close, is that spray and play. Spray and play, single point sling, fitted stock, and reinforced. So that's no good. Got the hollow and the range scope. I like the hollow scope. Holo, whatever. So uh, second one, second one with counterbalance, best of the week. But I'm looking for something with counterbalance, head seeker, and then something in that third uh, tree to choose from that looks very nice. So. I'm going to hold on to this one next week, but let me if you grab one of those and it looks good. So, Suros PDX 45, which one should we look at? Let's look at the let's look at the middle one first. So, we've got a Rangefinder PDX 45, high caliber rounds, appended magazine, rifled barrel, lightweight. So, if you want to go really, really long distance with this one, with the 37, 26, and the 19, uh, not that long, but appended magazine... Rangefinder rifle barrel could be good or high caliber rounds because you, you probably want that extra mag size because high caliber rounds on a pulse rifle don't do much anymore. So I probably recommend the increased mag size over HCR. Then go with the extra range and play back a little bit with this gun. You can still run the 19 scope. You can run the 26 if you want to or the 37 uh, and go play back with this gun. Although it's a quick firing uh, pulse rifle, I can see that combination working out. So we can see it. Let's check the, uh, let's check the, uh, let's look at the third one. Unflinching. Hmm. Unflinching with fitted stock, feather mag, speed reload, small bore. That'll be your max stability PDX 45. It's definitely going to go max stability with the fitted stock, unflinching, and small bore. Small bore is only going to take the mag down to 27 or 24. Still plenty big enough. 
if you're uh, running and gunning with this one and it has the 1926-37 I like the 19 on this gun uh, this one's gonna be a quick gun you're gonna run around you're gonna uh, be running and gunning with this one that's a run and gun version of the PDX 45 that's a good one max stability uh, but it's not the most amazing I've ever seen you're you know you're waiting for that full auto I know it I know it so we got rodeo on the first one which is the last one that we're gonna look at Hammer forged feather mag hand laid stock lightweight. Another max stability with some good range with rodeo helping you control that recoil the 19, the 26, and the 37. Uh, so they had they had a pretty decent PDX, uh, but none of those god rolls that I'm looking for. So if I was going to pick up one, maybe the the range one for playing far away or the uh, rodeo one for playing up close. So you're going to get some uh, you're going to get good stability out of this one up close. Or uh, more from the uh, mid range running around and gunning. So, uh, you know, those are two good ones, but if you've been holding on to it this long, you're probably going to hold on to it for a little bit longer, wait for that full auto max stability roll. So, there you go, guys. This has been Arms Day. I am Death from Above. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, turn on notifications because sometimes I go live here, sometimes I post. Well, I do this every day. So, you should come back. It's fun. We're getting ready for Destiny 2. Having fun playing on Banshee's table. I hope Banshee makes it. Sir, I hope you survive the tower. But until then, until next time, I'm Death from Above. I'll see you later. See ya, bye.